the CS Agriculture, PSS who are here, our honorable members of parliament, senators who are here, the speaker of county assembly who was in Gishu, and the honorable MCS, all protocol observed. Good afternoon. Um, let me join the rest of the team, Your Excellency, to invite you on behalf of Western Gishu County Government and the exhibitors who did a good job this time round, together with the schools and the school children and the community of Western Gishu to welcome you to Western Gishu County and to this agricultural show of Eldoret. I want to take this maiden opportunity to welcome everyone to this year's Agricultural Society of Kenya show. Over the years, Agricultural Society of Kenya has contributed to the development of sector throughout the country by organizing exhibitions where the latest technologies in agribusiness are ex exhibited. This platform has continued to provide opportunities for farmers to learn new and modern farming technologies. The theme, Promoting Climate Smart Agriculture and Trade Initiative for Sustainable Economic Growth, emphasizes on the importance of innovations and technology as key drivers in enhancing the food security. Our royal county is best known as the breadbasket of the county, of the country, has continued to contribute significantly in the country's serious dairy and horticultural production. It is on this regard that my government is keen on playing its role by promoting a competitive and commercially oriented agricultural agriculture through utilization of modern and efficient agricultural technologies. Food security remains a priority in my government, and that's why I have prioritized agriculture in the budgetary allocation as a boost to sector by the directing the funds to key flagship programs on value addition, crop diversification, establishment of small and small-scale irrigation scheme, post-harvest management, Chiborarua ATC programs, and on agricultural mechanization services, AMS. As a quick measure towards addressing issues of climate change in agriculture, we have put in measures and invested in irrigate aggregation projects through the Kenya Climate Smart Project KCSAP at a cost of 140 million. Similarly, we have dispersed funds to far farmer groups under the micro project grants to a tune of 150 million. Ladies and gentlemen, value addition is a crucial uh, in providing consumer confidence as a government. We have continued to hold farmers in forming and joining cooperatives so that they keep uh, reap and also maximize on their produce. On storage, my administration has always strived to cushion farmers against post-harvest losses through the construction of cereal stores across all the sub-counties. Sensitization of farmers is critical on the need for crop diversification as one way of reducing over-reliance of maize and wheat by focusing more on the high-value crops such as coffee, avocado, macadamia, tissue culture, bananas, passion fruits, and pyrethrum. Your Excellency, my administration has allocated 12 million Kenya shillings for the purchase of distribution of seedlings for the high-value crops. This is ahead of the onset of rains. Our farmers have a role to play in transforming agriculture production from subsistence process to farming as a business. We continue to encourage youths that form a big population in our country, county, and we are currently skilled on best performing practices to become self-reliant. So far, more than 37 youth groups drawn from various wards have been equipped with training skills on drip irrigation systems. We are keen on promoting irrigated agriculture through solar energy as one way of reducing cost of production. Your Excellency, the Department of Veterinary Services recently carried out a mass vaccination of 55,000 cattle against foot and mouth disease, FMD. 
7,500 dogs against the rabies and served 7,500 7, cows with county subsidized sex semen. As a boost to announcement of livestock diseases, disease control, which is devolved function, we have allocated 24 million 300,000 300, towards purchase of vaccine and capacity building. The county has strategically managed to control all the notifiable livestock diseases uh, through routine mass vaccination campaign. It is important to note that the tick-borne diseases are very costly to the farmer uh, and causes massive losses through disease infection and cost treatment. So far, 25 new cattle dips have been constructed, 119 dips have been rehabilitated, and 300 and eight cattle dips supported with acaricides. To enable farmers build their milk and work towards value addition, my government is closely working with the national government in construction of installation of coolers. We have constructed 46 cooler structures and delivery of 23 cooler tanks to various sites. Your Excellency, with over 60 dairy farmers cooperative societies in Washington Kishu County, we have equipped with milk chilling facilities. The county has cumulatively cumulative potential of chilling at least 200,000 liters of milk per day. The Dairy Innovation Center will be set up around the dairy farmers cooperatives model. Each cooperative is being encouraged to set up a zero grazing unit. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past nine years, aquaculture, aquaculture sector in Washington has risen from having a minor role to playing the major part in the country's food system. The demand for cultured fish has continuously witnessed an increased trend. My administration will purchase fingerlings and fish feeds to, to, to the tune of 3.7 million Kenya shillings aimed at promoting fish farming and consumption of white meat in the county. Our royal county has a high potential for honey beeswax production with the enterprise gaining popularity. Farmers are continuously demanding for modern beekeeping technologies. On this regard, we shall continue to support uh, beekeeping groups and promote establishment of honey processing and packaging unit. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I call on our hard-working farmers to continue adapting modern climate smart agricultural technologies as exhibited by various stakeholders at the ASK show as one way of increasing productivity. Nanikimalisia, Your Excellency, Sisi Kama Wakulima Yawasingishu, Kuna Wakulima Ambao, Your Excellency, Wakatule Mugine, they were branded cartels and they, they are just normal traders. Now we are packing the Madeni Mengi Sana, Ambao Wajalipwa na Syrians, Sasa Wako na Shida Kuba Sana. Your Excellency, Naomba Kwa Heshima Kuba Sana Leo, Jinsi Kanisa Katholiku Anasema, Sema Neno Moja, Na Rosetu Tutapona. Kwamba, Your Excellency, Wale Wakulima, Ambao Wamebaki Na Iyo Deni, Walikuwa na madeni, I mean, walikuwa na loans kutoka kwa AFC, uh, kwa mabanks, na sasa wanadaiwa. Pili, Your Excellency, kwa hile sereka lingine ilienda, tuliona kwamba wakulima wa kofi kule kule central Kenya, walitolewa loans zao silifutiliwa mbali. Na Your Excellency, tuko na wakulima mekana madeni ya AFC, ya, ya AFC. Tunaomba, Your Excellency, tutolea hata hawa wakulima pia kwa sababu mkulima ya kahawa na mkulima ya mahindi wote ni wakulima kwa hivyo your excellency utukumbuke kwa hiyo pili your excellency tunasema kwamba sisi wakulima wa singishu tunategemea sana mvua na pia kama serikali ya wasingishu county government tunajua kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza wako tayari kututengenezea mapoa wa ama dams kwa kila county na naomba your excellency utusaidie sana because we have encouraged our young people to go into irrigated farming kwamba all the dams ambazo siko kwa usingishu hii over 340 you help us to distill these dams 
ili watu wetu wafanye akrikaja ya kisasa saizi watu wasingishu atutegemei maindi peke yake sasa tumeenda kwa otikalia na metumewenja pesa kidogo ya diversification kwanza pesa ya kahawa na pesa ya avocado nasikia ni tamu sana nilipanda yangu ikakauka yote kwa sababu sikuwa na maji ya excellence ndio nasema kuna wakulima wengi wamejaribu lakini hawana maji atukujua kwamba avocado wanahitaji maji kiasi hiyo na nikimalizia your excellency nataka ni kuombe kwa heshima kubwa sana utusaidie na national government vile ulitupatia mlitupatia um, subsidized fertilizer tumesaidiana na national government kupitia national cereals board kuweka hizo fertilizers pale na sasa kama county government of wasingishu tumeanza kusukuma hiyo mbolea kutoka kwa central store ya NCBB tumepeleka kwa ma cooperative stores kule kule mali wa kulima wako kwa hivyo itakuwa ni rahisi tuko na eight centers ya NCBB hapa wasingishu na tuko tayari kusaidia wakulima mpaka hapo your excellence tunasema karibu sana wasingishu na unakaribishwa niko na deni yako tu moja ya kutafuta shamba ili wewe uishi pande hii hapa kwetu tuko na tuko na tamaa sana tumezoea kukana viongozi karibu na tangu president amekuwa president sasa <laughs> sasa amekuwa mbali na sisi wewe kuja karibu hapa tukae na wewe shida kidogo kidogo this is a royal county tumezoea kukaa karibu na power kwa hivyo your excellency tunakuomba utukuje tufanye kazi hiyo shamba nitatafuta nitakuonyesha alafu utufanye hivyo na kwa heshima kabla sikaribisha um uh, wana peers ni vizuri ndi organize viongozi wetu ili pia sakishika wao unachukua tunamalizia waje nianze na ile serikali yangu ndogo tuko na mheshimiwa speaker mheshimiwa speaker uh, tumeheshimiana tu akuje aseme tu chamge kwa ufupi amani bas tumekubaliana mheshimiwa speaker na maemsi yenye wako hapa kwa heshima sisi serikali ya Kenya kwanza tunatambua uongozi wa ukatuzi na hapa ndio mambo yote yako kwa hivyo hata toa speeches ni kuonyesha tu kuonyesha maemsi ya tafadhali Your Excellency Deputy President Cabinet Secretary Your Excellency Governor and all protocol of staff Good afternoon uh, before niendelee mheshimiwa uh, Deputy President ningesema tu uh, waheshimiwa wa county ya assembly wasimame ni waonyeshe tafadhali mheshimiwa rais mheshimiwa mkamo wa rais wenye wako nyuma yako ni waheshimiwa wa county assembly ya yuasingishu thank you so much uh, na mimi mheshimiwa rais naitwa Philip Mwigei speaker wa county assembly ya yuasingishu asante sana asante sana bwana speaker he is the youngest speaker kwa county assembly ya Kenya kwa heshima kubwa tuko na waheshimiwa wetu wa bunge kuna mbunge wa hapa your excellency waje aonyeshe marafiki zake leo ndajua sio siku ya siasa ni kusema tu majina leo ni siku ya kuonyesha uh, mambo ya maonyesho hapa karibu sana mheshimiwa bwana Sipie Ruto naibu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya mheshimiwa Regadi Gashakwa waziri wetu wa kilimo Mithiga Linduri makatibu katibu wa mifuko mutai na kilimo pamoja wajumbe ambao tumefika mahali hapa wakiambatana pamoja na wewe na viongozi wote wa tapaka mbalimbali tukiongozwa na gavana wa jimbo la wasingishu ningependa kujukua nafasi hii kwanza naibu wa rais kama mjumbe wa eneo bunge la kesis ambapo sherehe zetu za Agricultural Show of Kenya ya Eldoret inafanyika kwa siku ya leo kukukaribisha kwa niaba ya wakaji wa Keses kwa moyo mkunjuvu kusema karibu sana hapa Eldoret karibu sana hapa Keses 
yangu naibu wa rais kwa kuwa leo sio siku ya siasa ila ni siku ya wakulima nitatumia tu fursa hii kwa kifupi kuweza kukujulisha viongozi wa bunge ambao wameweza kufika hapa kwa siku ya leo na wajumbe mtaniruhusu tu kwa ajili leo nafasi ni ndogo nitawataja kwa majina na kila mjumbe utasimama ili naibu wa rais aweze kuona kwamba umefika mali hapa na pia wakaji wa hapa waweze kufurahi pamoja na wewe uh, wa kwanza tuko na mjumbe wa Kipkelion East mheshimiwa Cherorot yuko mali pale karibu sana keses wa pili tuko na mjumbe wa Kiamba ambaye tunamuita UDA 001 mjumbe wa kwanza wa chama ya UDA anaitwa Kawanjiko yuko mali hapa kutoka Kiambu asante sana Mheshimiwa tuko pia na mjumbe wa Embakasi Central anaitwa Mejan Dong huyo kule bunge yeye ndiye analinda ile mess wala wa jamaa wakitaka kuleta kelele kidogo hiyo ni kasi yake sehemu ile Mali hapa pia tuko na mheshimiwa Michael Mushira wa Eldorok yuko mali hapa asante sana karibu sana mheshimiwa tuko pia na mjumbe wa Emuru wa Digir huyo mheshimiwa unamjua unakumbuka wakati wa siasa ilikuwa imechacha hapa yeye ndiye alisukuma kurudumu mheshimiwa Johanna Ngeno yuko mali hapa yeye ni chairman wa housing na urban planning tuko na mheshimiwa Dan Wanyama yule mwendeshaji kwaya wetu kutoka Webuye yuko mali hapa tuko na mheshimiwa John Medu ambaye ni senator wetu wa hapa karibu Nyandarwa kichana shubavu kijeshi ambaye kule bunge anakusaidia kuhakikisha kwamba mambo yameenda sawa sawa tuko na mheshimiwa Samson Cherargei senator wetu wa Nandi County yuko mali hapa na pengine utaniruhusu tu baadaye tu waseme hai maana ametumwa na senator wetu wa Wasingishu ambaye yuko safarini ukaibuni Tuko na mheshimiwa David Kiblagat mjumbe wetu wa Soi yuko mali hapa huyu ni mjumbe jirani hapa Wasingishu Tuko na mheshimiwa Sajia Shada wa Nyaribari Chaje Asante sana karibu mheshimiwa Tuko na mheshimiwa Ngoyoyo eh, kutoka Kajiado North Onesmas rafiki yangu yuko mali pale karibu sana Tuko na aliyekuwa mjumbe wakati mmoja na alikuwa waziri Rashid Echeza pia yuko mali hapa Huyo ni mheshimiwa kutoka kule Kakameka Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais pia hapa tumejiunga pamoja na yule kijana Shubavu umemwandika kazi juzi ili kusimamia chama tawala ambaye inaongoza nje ya Kenya katika Kenya kwanza chama ya UDA ambaye kwa ajili ya siku ya leo msimamo mwelekeo na msingi ya hii serikali ni ile te plan ikiongozwa na rais Malala ambaye ni secretary general karibu sana Asante sana Wa mwisho nitaweza kukujulisha kwamba tuko na nominated member of parliament tunamuita mjumbe wa bonde la ufa mheshimiwa wa naina ambaye alichakuliwa kwa niaba ya bonde la ufa na anatoka hapa eneo bunge la wasingishu ili niweze kukamilisha hii kipindi naibu wa rais nataka niseme karibu sana ninashukuru kwa kupata nafasi ya kufika hapa kama wakaji wa keses kama wakaji wa wasingishu tunafurahi sana wewe ukifika mahali hapa na hii ni ishara kwamba wewe na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya oh pole asante nimekumbushwa mheshimiwa ngunjiri aliyekuwa mjumbe wa bahati yuko mahali hapa na naibu wa rais nataka nikwambie huyo mzee amefanya kasi kubwa hapa wasingishu ukijua kwamba wasingishu ni kaunti moja ambaye tumekaa jamii zote ikiwemo jamii ya wakikuyu wa Kalenjin wa Kisina au wote na wakati wake alitumia wakati kubwa sana kuona kwamba amani na u, na uiano imeweza kudumu hapa wasingishu so yangu tu ni kusema karibu naibu wa rais jinsi umetembea umeashiria na umeonyesha wakulima kwamba katika mipango ya uongozi wako na rais ni kwamba you are very serious and committed to ensure kwamba nje ya Kenya imeinuka kiuchumi kupitia kilimo
katika njia ya Kenya ambayo tunajua kwamba inachukua asilimia arobaini ya uchumi aidi ya Kenya. Nataka kukushukuru naibu wa rais. Mlipochukua watamu ya uongozi, jambo la kwanza mlitutangazia bei ya mbolea itapunguzwa. Na kwa uhakika ninapokueleza sasa tunachongojea tu na tunashukuru umefika mahali hapa na unaona hali ya mawingu ukimaliza shughuli zako hapa mvua itanyesha maana umefika mahali hapa. Tunangojea kupanda mbolea tunaye nyumbani na wale ambao hawajafikiwa gavana amekuelezea kwamba wameweka mikakati kufikisha mbolea katika eneo wa kulima walivyo ili waweze kupata kwa njia ya upesi na kwa urahisi ili tu nikamilishe tumeshinda hivi majusi na wale wa jamaa ambao walikuwa uongozi hapa awali wakitusungusha na masufuria wakituambia tupunguze bei ya chakula njia ambayo mmetuonyesha ili gharama ya chakula ifike chini ni kupunguza gharama ya kilimo na nataka nikushukuru sana Jusi tumeongelea maneno ya supplementary budget na baadhi ya yale vitu ambayo tuliweza kupata mahali pale na yale pesa ambayo yalitolewa kupitia article 223 ikiwemo ya subsidy ambao kule bunge mpaka leo tunajiuliza who are these beneficiaries of subsidized maneno ya pesa ya subsidy katika chakula ya nchi ya Kenya na kwa ajili ya hiyo kama bunge tuliona kwamba hatutaweka pesa mpaka tujue hawa ni kina nani ili wakati utakapopea pesa tujue ni kina nani waliweza kunufaika kwa ajili ya hiyo subsidy kwa hiyo na mengi naibu wa rais nataka nisema asante sana sitasema mengi zaidi hapo ila tu nimuulize senator wa Nandi county kwa niaba ya mandago aseme tu mmoja alafu tuweze kukamilisha asante karibu sana Uh, Bwana Sifiwe Bas Your Excellency uh, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya Rigathi Kashagwa all protocol observed Your Excellency ya kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii nikukaribishe katika bonda la ufa na especially North Rift Your Excellency the area senator would wish to be here but because of exigency of duty and parliamentary assignments is away on official duty akasema kwa niaba yake nikukaribishe katika kaunti ya Wazingishu kwa sababu sisi ni majirani. Your Excellency tumefurahi sana kwa sababu umekuja kufungua show, umetembea, umeona na nafikiri plan kubwa ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza ambayo unaongoza wewe na rais wetu tunataka tuseme one of your greatest achievement is ensuring that we have food security and we agree with the principle of the government that you subsidize uh, production over consumption na tumefurahi vile ndugu zangu wamesema viongozi mambo ya mbolea inaendelea kupeanwa your excellency na tunashukuru kupitia waziri ndugu yangu senator Mithika Linturi ile siku saba iliongezwa imekuwa tadi kitu tu naomba your excellency kwa sababu unaketi katika IBEC uweze kuhakikisha zizi county sichukue hata kama watachukua temporary depots ndio wananchi wa vile transport cost ya kuhakikisha zile mbolea zimefika katika huko mashinani na wapate kwa ile bei ambayo inastahili your excellency changamoto ni mingi lakini we believe wewe sasa tunaona ulikuwa umepewa kazi na rais wetu daktari William Ruto tunaona ulikuwa umevaa kazi ya reforms ya coffee mambo ya majani chai mambo ya sukari kwa sababu hii sekta yote ya part of uh, Rift Valley your excellence tunategemea ukulima your excellence tunaona unangangana na hiyo reforms na tunataka tuseme we are grateful kwa sababu in the in fullness of time tutahakikisha wala wakulima wa hizo zote kuanzia kahawa majani chai maziwa na ile mambo ya sukari and any other form your excellence utaweza kupata ile reforms ya kuhakikisha imetosha your excellency sisi tu tuko na furaha that you have made uh, yourself to be here sisi vile governor uh, uh, governor chelili mamesema koti moja yeye akitafuta shai ambayo wako hapa ukishaa jenga wataleta ile mate ya baraka ndio ile barabara yako hapo mbele inyooke sawa sawa 90 degrees ukienda mbele ya mwisho your excellency ni kufurahi wewe endelea kuchapa kazi na rais. Hao watu waache sisi wala watu wa huko nje to deal nao. Hao wataenda vile watafanya wa, vile wanataka kufanya maandamano ama ile ingine Hata unaona walikuwa wameweka vitina your excellency na jana tunataka tukushukuru na rais na na, na wewe mwenyewe. 
mmechukua msimamo kwa hii mambo ya LGBT mukasema Kenya will be a country that respects African values and therefore that is the direction we want to take. Kenya is a god fearing nation we are a muslim nation we are a christian nation na kulikuwa hata na vitina ile 16 billion ilitoka the american government walikuwa wamesema ati kwa sababu ya ile uamuzi hiyo ni uongo tu kwa sababu azimio wameshindwa na agenda yote your excellency ya mwisho kwa sababu najua bado uko na program kubwa sana we need to be very grateful na sisi kama viongozi unakaribishwa kila wakati utembee katika eneo la hii North Rift was in Gishu na huko na deni ya Nandi tunakukaribisha Nandi feel welcome hata kama unataka kulala leo sisi tutahakikisha umelala sawa sawa ukunye mursik uweke na jaisa uende mbele asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki bas nikimkaribisha gavana ili aje amkaribishe uh, waziri Gavana itakuwa mheshimiwa naibu wa rais itakuwa makosa nisipojulisha wewe wajumbe wengine wa wasingishu najua kwamba budget policy statement inaendelea kule Nairobi na wako kwa kamati wakiangazia na wamenituma na salamu kusema karibu sana alafu uko na deni ya madharu wameniambia kumbusha wewe wanakungojea asante karibu sana gavana ili umkaribishe waziri asante Excellency utusamee unajua wanasiasa tuko na roho na roho nyingine ikitushika tunasahau yote na tunaanza kazi kabla ya excellency sijapatia CS wetu tuko na heads of institutions so, tungetembea kule ungeona Moi University kipande ya Moi University Eldoret University University of Baraton University of KC Polytechnic Lorenz Polytechnic na wale wengine wote kama nimekutaja na nimesahau kukutaja na wewe ni mkubwa hiyo hizo institutions mama tuwaone kwa heshima kubwa sana yeah asante sana tuko na River Tech Spear ambayo tuna partner karibu sana thank you very much alafu tuko na county commissioner wetu atakuja hapa dr nyale and tunamuita kaka hapa usikuje simama tu yeah Asante sana. Uzuri hawa wana siasa kama sisi. Alafu your excellency kwa heshima kubwa sana tungependa kusema kwamba unakaribishwa tena wasingishu tena na tena. Na tukimaliza tutembee tembe hapa town tusalamiane watu kwa sababu raia wangependa kuona yule rigiji anafananaje. Kwa hivyo nimeambia anaweza tembea hapa hivi kwa hivyo okoa jina langu your excellency ili kura yote yangu isiende 2027. Baka hapo nataka nikaribishe uh, our CS agriculture uh, linturi mpika karibu sana Asante sana <coughs> Naibu wa Rais uh, Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua Gavana wa kaunti hii koti moja uh, wabunge walio hapa wakiongozwa na seneta Wanandi na mbunge wa hapa eneo hili uh, chia lindi wa ESK show itifaki zote zikifuatiliwa bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena naibu wa rais yangu ni machache sana sababu siku ya leo ni siku yako na kwanza ni kushukuru kwa kupata nafasi kuja kuungana na nasi katika maonyesho ya kilimo hapa Erondoret. Niseme niko na raha sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo na kuambia watu wa hapa Erondoret hawa watu wa pande hii ya North Rift nyinyi mnajua ya kwamba nyinyi ndio fundi basket ya Kenya na ile shinda tulio nayo kubwa katika taifa hili ni shinda ya chakula na nyinyi huwa mnashalisha chakula na nataka kuwaomba nyote na nikiwashukuru kwa ile kazi hapo awali mmekuwa mkifanya ya kushalisha chakula katika taifa letu na kusaidia wale wengine huwa wana maonyesho ya kilimo ya hapa yanatupea nafasi 
gives us the opportunity ya kuweza kusoma kukielewa ya kwamba kuna njia mpya ambazo tunaweza kujifunza kupitia maonyesho kama haya ili kuweza kutumia hizo technology mpya na innovations kuweza kuandress mambo ya productivity kuandress mambo ya uchalishaji wa chakula na ningetaka kuwaomba yale yote tumayo ya soma yale mnayo yapata hapa mnyawese kuyatumia ili kuweza kushalisha chakula kwa wingi tumepitia kule kiwanda cha Kalro tumeona kuna new varieties ambazo sinaweza pata ama kutoa yields mingi zaidi and that is why we need such uh, a trendy fairs because the trendy fairs gives us an opportunity to learn and to be able to carry this knowledge which we can be able to use to, for enhanced productivity kwa hivyo for to for to the, all the exhibitors wale waliweza kuungana nasi na wakanjileta hapa siku ya leo nataka kuambia asanteni sana because you have made this day a success nataka kuambia nyinyi ya kwamba serikali ya William Ruto na mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua ni washukuru kwa ile support wamepea wakulima wamepea sisi kama wizara na usaindisi hule moja mnaelewa na nimesikia ngavana akisema ni kwamba waliahindi fertilizer lazima iteremke and currently we are running the, the fertilizer subsidy program na niko na uhakika wana wafanyi wa, ma, wa kulima wetu hapa wanapata fertilizer na ile shilingi 3500 our commitment ni kwamba tungetaka tuweze kuwa na viwanda vya kushalisha fertilizer ili fertilizer yetu iweze kuteremka zaidi and i want to commit that with the support the government that is giving us we will work day and night to ensure mkulima wa taifa hili amepata heshima yake amepata ma, uh, uh, fainda amepata soko ya chakula kile anaposhalisha ili pia awese kugaramia kugaramia maisha yake na sababu tuko na mgeni wa heshima ambaye ndiye siku ndio ni yake mnikubali niweze kumwalika nikisema ya kwamba governor umetaja kitu ya kwamba kuna wakulima ambao ye pesa yao ili awanjalipwa i have information that 516 million is hold to farmers na ile pesa milioni ya 516 ni pesa ambayo wao watu walifanya hiyo biashara kuna uchunguzi unaendelea na ndiyo sababu hayo maneno ama pesa zinjalipwa immediately the investigations are over i'm sure we will be rushing to treasury to for allocation of that money and we'll be able to pay because i think we have a listening president we have a listening government and it is the interest of government to ensure yule mtu aliuza mind yake amepata pesa yake kile tunajaribu ni kulinda ya kule ukora ambao ungekuwako pesa ya raia isiweze kupotea kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi na kwa heshima kuu na waomba nyote tusimame tumkaribishe naibu wa rais mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua aweze kuhutubia watu wale wote wameofika hapa ama wa exhibitors for today naibu wa rais tafadhali karibu uh, please be seated uh, cabinet secretary for agriculture livestock development the honorable mithikal inturi the governor usiangishu county mheshimiwa jonathan b aka koti moja the principal secretary is present 
members of parliament and the Senate, the ASK National Chairperson, Annabel Kirinya, national and county government officials, the chairperson of Eldoret ASK Show, distinguished guests, farmers, exhibitors, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to open this year's National Agricultural Society of Kenya Show in Eldoret on the theme promoting climate smart agriculture and trade initiatives for sustainable economic growth. We hold this trade fair on this theme when the impact of climate change is threatening the existence of Kenyans and humanity globally. Today, we are deep into the fifth straight failed rain season and one of the longest dry spells in 40 years of our history. More than 5.2 million Kenyans are facing starvation while thousands of others are on the red alert. Hundreds of livestock and wild animals are on the brink of perishing. Climate change is indeed erasing our hopes of a rebounding economy after the vagaries of COVID-19. While in 2021, agriculture contributed 22.4% to our GDP, the situation may worsen if we do not act and act quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, farmers and exhibitors, we are in farming because of low agricultural productivity. This has reduced food security in spite of the rising demand. For instance, maize production stood at 35.1 million NITA kg bags against a demand of 52 million bags in the year 2022. Beans production was 6 million NITA kilograms bags against a consumption of 7.2 million bags while we harvested 3.3 million NITA kg bags, again is a demand of 24 million bags. Rice production was 1.4 million NITA kg bags, again is a consumption of 12 million bags. To cover the deficit, we imported 10 million NITA kg bags of maize, 20 million NITA kg bags of wheat, 10 million NITA kg bags of rice, and 1 million 90 kg bags of beans. This means spreading foreign exchange on commodities we can produce to a surplus. In a similar trajectory, production in our leading exchange earners, tea and coffee, then climbed in the year 2021 as compared to 2020 by 5.6% and 6% respectively. Ladies and gentlemen, farmers and exhibitors, the Kenya Kwanzaa administration under President William Ruto has identified high cost of farm inputs, especially fertilizer and animal feeds as leading causes of low production. Most of our farmers did not apply the required amounts of fertilizer because a 50 kg bag was costing 7,500. Besides field rains, Limited integration of modern farming technologies and innovations alongside uncertified planting materials have also been identified. Cognizant of the impact of agriculture on our economy, the government has prioritized the sector as one of the pillars of socio-economic transformation. Our administration has subsidized fertilizer. It is availing 7.8 million 50 kg bags to farmers through the e-voucher system ahead of the long lanes at an affordable rate of 3,500 Kenya shillings. We have a portly 540,000 acres under irrigation, representing just 2% of the total land under farming. This is just 16% of the 
over irrigation potential of 3.3 million acres. The government targets to bring an additional 500,000 acres under irrigation by the year 2026. This initiative will progressively save the country 87.5 billion worth of food imports and create 3 million jobs among other benefits. We are also instituting reforms in coffee, tea and dairy subsectors to deliver maximum earnings to our farmers for dignified lives. Ladies and gentlemen, farmers and exhibitors, further, the government launched the private sector-led agricultural mechanization initiative that aims at facilitating access to machinery services, aggregation of produce through industrial parks in every county, market linkages, farm inputs, financial services, among others. In partnership with other stakeholders, we have successfully operationalized two pilot agricultural mechanization hubs in Moya and Bunyala in Kirinyaga and Busia counties, respectively, for rice value chain. In addition, through the improvement of the mechanization program under the Agricultural Development Corporation, production of certified potato seed is set to increase to 1 million to 1 and 131 million metric tons in 2021-22 financial year to 2,700 metric tons this financial year, while that of seed maize from 6,300 metric tons to 10,800 metric tons over the same period. Ladies and gentlemen, farmers and exhibitors, while these are measures being put in place by the government to counter the adverse effect of climate change and, food, and boost our food security, farmers have central role in saving our nation. That is why the theme of this trade fair resonated well with our current situation. This trade fair, therefore, is a platform of knowledge and experience sharing in growing, in growing our agricultural produce through smart and sustainable solutions. Climate smart agriculture is one of them. In climate smart agriculture, we are called upon to integrate crop and animal production into environmental management practices in a balanced and complementary manner. We, have, we must invest in technology to receive and understand weather and seasons better and in real time. As we also strive to reduce our carbon emissions, we cannot be left behind in integrating the growing of 15 billion trees by the year 2032 into our practices like tea and coffee to increase our forest cover. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I commend the Agriculture of Agriculture and Livestock Development, the county government of Husi and Gishu, farmers, exhibitors, and all other stakeholders who contributed towards making this show a success. To this end, it is now my pleasure to declare the 2023 ASK Eldoret National Show officially open. Thank you all. God bless you and God bless Kenya. Asante sana. Wakaji wa county hii yetu ya Usengishu kwa makaribisho ya hali ya juu na ukarimu wenu. Mimi na delegation yangu kutoka Nairobi tumefurahia sana. Tumetembea katika stands karibu nane na tumefurahishwa sana na hali ya juu ya kilimo yetu na mambo ya agro processing na value addition ambaye ndio itainua kilimo yetu. Ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii kuleta salamu kutoka kwa kiongozi wetu Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Samoe Ruto. Angetaka kufika lakini alikuwa kwa kazi pande ya Gilgil ambaye kuna gwarile la kufuzu ya vijana wetu katika huduma ya kitaifa. Mimi ningechaka nichukue nafasi hii kuambia nyinyi ya kwamba serikali yetu imeweka kilimo mbele kama suluhisho ya kuteremusha bei ya vyakula. Serikali yetu ambaye mulituchagua kwa wingi katika eneo hili 
ili huzunishwa sana na kitendo cha serikali iliyokuweko ya kukataa kusaidia wakulima na bolea ambaye iko kwa bei imeteremshwa na ndio tulipoingia katika serikali rais wetu aliagiza national treasury kutenga kiwango cha pesa ya kusaidia wakulima katika jamhuri ya Kenya na tumeweza kupunguza bei ya bolea kutoka shilingi elfu saba mpaka elfu tatu na tano na kwa hivyo ni matumaini yetu ya kwamba kila mkulima katika North Rift na kila pahali popote katika bread basket na jamhuri ya Kenya atapata nafasi ya kupata bolea ndio mvua ambaye tunatarajia muweze kuweka bolea kwa mahindi na vyakula zingine ndio tuweze kupata mazao ya hali ya juu na gharama ya hiyo kilimo ikuwe chini na hiyo tumejua kwa wataalamu ya kwamba njia ya kuteremsha bei ya chakula hasa unga ni kusaidia wakulima na bolea ndio matumizi yao ikuwe chini na ile iudi kuwe juu na mnajua tumejaribu tulipochukua serikali mwezi wa tisa tulipata bei ya unga ilikuwa mbili na thelathini na kufuatilia mipango ya kiuchumi tumeweza kuteremsha hiyo bei sasa imefika 180 pahali ingine 175 ni matumaini yetu ya kwamba hivi karibuni tukisaidia wakulima tutafaulu kuteremsha bei ya unga mpaka 140 mpaka 130 ikiteremka kuelekea chini na kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka niseme ya kwamba Serikali yetu chini ya President William Ruto imetilia maanani sana mambo ya kilimo. Na ningetaka nimpongeze waziri wetu bwana Mithika Linturi, PS wetu wote katika hiyo wizara kwa ile bidii wameweka kwa hii kazi ya kilimo. Nimealifiwa ya kwamba hata kama bolea imefika katika kaunti hii wakulima wagali wako na shida kwa sababu haijafikia wakulima kule mashinani. Tumeongea na governor wetu bwana koti moja afanye mpango pamoja na National Cereals and Produce Board tufugue sub depot katika kila sub county ndio bolea ikae karibu na wakulima Pia ningetaka kuuliza wakulima wetu wa mahindi Tuliomba nyinyi kwa heshima kubwa muachilie mahindi kwa soko ndio kuwe na mahindi ya kutosha ndio tuweze kuteremsha bei ya unga Wengi walifanya hivyo lakini wengine mungali mumeshikilia mahindi. Na kwa hivyo iko upungufu wa mahindi katika soko. Na kwa hivyo serikali imeamua tutalete mahindi kutoka nje ndio tuweze kupata chakula katika Kenya. Kwa hivyo ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii nikiwa kiongozi wenu ambaye anampenda kushauri wakulima musingoje mahindi toke nje kwa sababu itaharibu soko yale mahindi yote muko nayo kwa store kuanzia leo saa nane muachilie kwa ile bei iko kwa sababu ni mbaya nzuri mukishindwa kufanya hivyo mutapatwa na ile mahindi ya kutoka nje na bei ya mahindi itateremka mkiwa mkiwa na mahindi kwa store kwa hivyo sisi tukua viongozi wenu ambaye wanampenda wanamshughulikia tunashauri nyinyi leo nikiwa hapa kwa niaba wa rais wetu kwa niaba wa serikali yetu ya UDA na Kenya Kwanza tafadhali wakulima katika hapa usiandikishu pande ya Kitale pande ya Nakuru pande ya Kakamega tafadhali muachilie mahindi ile iko kwa soko bei iko sawa sawa iko mzuri ndio muweze kuweka hiyo pesa kwa bank mjipange nayo pale mbele lakini lazima tutaharishe nyinyi kwa sababu sisi ni watu ya kuongea ukweli na lazima tuongee ukweli mukikaa na hiyo mahindi kwa store mutapatwa na yale itatoka nje ya baini ya bei ya chini kwa sababu itakuja bila ushuru na mtakuwa na matatizo kwa hivyo na muomba kwa heshima mkubali muachilie mahindi iingie kwa soko ndio bei ya unga itaremke tunamuomba kwa heshima nikitoka hapo niseme mambo ya begu certified seeds tungetaka kuuliza Kenya seed 
muendelee kufanya kampeni kwa maredio, kwa ma TV, kwa mabaraza wakulima wetu watumie begu ile certified kwa sababu tuko na hatari ya watu walagai na wakora kutegeneza begu na kujifanya ni certified na hiyo begu haikuna mazao iko nayo na tungetaka kutahirisha wakulima ningetaka pia kuuliza zile idara sinashughulikia kufanya musako kuondoa mbegu badia kutoka maduka zetu muweke bidii ndio wakulima wasiumizwe kuuziwa begu ambaye ni badia na si certified mambo ya maziwa ningetaka kusema nikiwa hapa tumekamilisha mabadiliko katika Kenya Dairy Board tumetoa ile board yote ilikuwa hapo tumeweka board mpya ile board ilikuwa pale ilikuwa captured na ile state capture na conflict of interest kazi ya hiyo board ilikuwa ni kupeana leseni kwa mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa analeta maziwa ya powder na kuweka hapa kwa soko amenunua shilingi kumi kwa lita amekuja amechanganya na maji na kutuuzia moja na ishirini na kwa hivyo tumepiga marufuku kuagiza maziwa ya pounda kutoka inji za nje tunataka watu watumie maziwa ya wakulima ndio bei ya maziwa ipande hivi karibuni na kwa hivyo hiyo tumesema na tungetaka Kenya Dairy Board muhakikishe hizo leseni mlikuwa mnapeana ya watu kuleta pounded milk ambaye imeharibu soko ya wakulima ifike mwisho ndio hao wakulima wetu wa maziwa waweze kupata bei ya maana governor umesema ya kwamba ungetaka wakulima wa hapa ati wawachiwe loan ile ya AFC ati vile ya kule kwa mlima ati waliwachiwa ya kahawa hiyo ni story ya abnuasi hiyo ilikuwa ni ukora ya ile serikali ilikuweko walikuwa wanataka wakulima kule ati waende kupigia azimio kura wakawadanganya ati watawaondolea makesi na ile loans ya kahawa tunaongea saa hii pale katika Mount Kenya mafactory ya mingi sana ya kahawa imefungwa kwa sababu ya madeni kwa hivyo hii mambo ya deni ya wakulima ni ya kila pahali katika Jamhuri ya Kenya na ni mambo ambayo tunatakiwa tushughulikie sisi zote wakulima wa mahindi
wewe county commissioner umekuja hapa wewe daktari sasa wewe unganisho watu na utavute amani na utengamano huyo county commissioner aliondoka alikuwa ni mtu ya uchochezi na vitina na alijaribu kuchochea watu hapa na kupiganisha watu lakini mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni shukuru jamii zote hapa hata baada ya hiyo uchochezi wote ulikuwa hapa waliweka amani walikataa kupigana nataka niseme asante pia uchochezi ulikuwa umewekwa na redio moja fulani usiku kutoka saa ine mpaka saa sita ya kuchochea watu na kuwauzia au uoga na tunataka kuambia hao maredio murekebishe tukienda mbele siku ingine hizo airways mmepewa ni ya kuwafanyia wananchi wote kazi na kuelimisha wa Kenya na ilikuwa ni makosa sana nyinyi kutumika kuenesa vitina na uongo na uchochezi kati ya jamii na kwa hivyo niseme hapa usianigishu county na hapa Transoia tungetaka kuuliza jamii zote muishi kwa amani mupendane mufanye biashara pamoja na ikiwezekana muoane muzae watoto muendelee kukaa hapa na amani si hiyo ni sawa sawa na ndio sisi tumekataa hii maneno ilikuwa imeletwa pale kotini ati wanaume waone na wanaume ati wanawake waone na wake hiyo ni maneno yanayowezekana hiyo ni ujinga na utoto na ni mambo ambayo yawezekani sisi tunataka wanaume waone wanawake na wanawake waolewe na wanaume sasa mwanaume akioa mwanaume mwingine wataambiana nini iko kitu wanaweza ambiana sasa hao wasiana wetu wote warembo wataolewa na nani mkisema wanaume wao wanaume hiyo ni maneno kama itawezekana mpeleke huko kwa wazungu mila na desturi ya wakenya hapa ni mwanaume awe mwanamke na kama hataki aende akae peke yake si kwa namna hiyo eh akae peke yake we ukisikia hutaki kuoa mama mkae na yeye kaa peke yako ukiwa singo wewe mama kama hutaki kuolewa wewe kaa peke yako hakuna mtu anakuuliza hao wazungu wasituletee hiyo maneno hapa na hii wazungu ndio tuliwafukuza hapa walikuwa wamechukua mashamba yetu si unajua mimi ni mtu ya huko kwa msudi kwa maumau hii wazungu wasikazilishe sisi tena walikuwa wamechukua mashamba yetu sasa hiyo maneno wanajaribu kusukuma hapa ati mwanaume awe mwanaume hiyo ni maneno yanawezekana sasa hata mtaanzia wapi hiyo ni maneno ambayo yawezekani na rais wetu mkristo ameeleza jana mimi niko hapa nimeeleza na tungetaka kuomba hata huko kotini nyinyi ni waafrika nyinyi ni wazazi nyinyi mnajua desturi zetu na mila zetu msituletee maneno ambayo yawezekani wacha sisi tufanye ile maneno inafuatana na mila na desturi zetu na inafuatana na uaminifu wetu na dini zetu kwa sababu wengi wetu ni wakristo ni waislamu na wakristo hawaamini hiyo waislamu hawaamini hiyo waafrika hawaamini hiyo wale ambaye wako hapa wangetaka hiyo maneno ya kuoa wanaume waende ngambo huko wakaoane huko tumekubaliana kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka kusema asante sana i really want to thank you for welcoming us here we are very grateful we want to encourage you to continue working hard we want farmers to put more effort so that we produce more food for surplus and for consumption so that our country can have food security kwa hayo mengi asanteni sana mungu awabariki thank you very much Asante sana naibu rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Rigadhi Gashagwa kwa kufungua rasmi maonyesho ya kilimo Tanzu la hapa Eldoret